We are down to the last topic, which is the prescriptive analytics. So now, let's start. Prescriptive analytics anticipates what will happen, when it happened, and also why it happened. Prescriptive analytics not only anticipates what will happen and when it will happen but also why it will happen. Prescriptive analytics software has the potential to help during each phase of the oil and gas business through its ability to take in seismic data, well-logged data, and their related data sets to prescribe where to drill, how to drill there and how to minimize the environmental impact. These are the processes involved in prescriptive analytics. First is collection of data. Second is analysis of data. Third is to provide prediction using algorithms and lastly to provide smart decisions to users. For the first process, we need data to be collected. Data repository is needed to access for essential data. For analysis of data, the second process, we need to analyze the data we collected, analyze data model to assess and query the data collected in the process. The third process is providing prediction using algorithms. In this step prediction are now provided so that business users can actually define and track the next steps on their business analytics before it will happen with the use of mathematical algorithms and equation process. Finally, smart decisions. We need to decide the ways on how we analyze the data. Analytics can allow managers to create a better and smarter decisions. These are some examples of prescriptive analytics. A recommender agent of the YouTube's algorithm factors in billions of data points in order to create a customized viewing experience unique to you every time you visit the site's homepage. The more data you give the algorithm, by selecting videos, liking and disliking, subscribing, leaving comments, and watch time, the better it gets at surfacing videos that are likely to be of interest to you. Those are the three types of analytics. The transcript of this lectures are provided next to this lecture.